Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another sticker haul. Um, if you are not new to my channel, I am going to put a timestamp for you to skip ahead of the intro if you don't want to hear it. But if you are new to my channel, welcome to a sticker haul. Um, my sticker hauls are um, a collection of a bunch of different sticker shops um, that I have either purchased from or a, a lot of these shops I do PR for. So I receive some of this um, either, you know, as PR or discounted. Um, I thought I was going to be filming a a summer sticker haul, but a lot actually, like primarily what I have today is like the very last of the spring stuff that I have and also just some kind of anytime stuff that I have. So um, that's what's going to, I think this is just going to be a shorter haul than I normally do. And then if you do like sticker hauls, you can stick around and subscribe and I will have a giant sticker haul for summer coming very soon, um, which will be a lot of fun. I already have a ton of really, really exciting stuff for summer in the mail, but this is going to be kind of the tail end of spring. So um, if that sounds good to you, stick around and we will start jumping into it. I've got Sadie stickers, Two Little Bees, My New Seduction, Paper Trail Plans, Crafts by Towie, The Pretty Pink Co., and more Sadie stickers. So um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, I'm going to start off here with Sadie stickers. I'm so excited about this. Um, this is a couple orders and some of this is PR. Um, but she had to bring back my faves or bring back the faves sale, which is when she brings back $2 Tuesdays from like the past few months and, you know, favorites and, you know, some of the standard stuff and does a big sale. So that's all of these orders. I think I placed a couple of those orders. And then I also picked up um, one of her monthly kits and she sent me a kit as well. And she has a new foil that's really exciting. So I'll get into that in a second, the kits, but I want to first just open up um, everything from the bring back my faves $2 Tuesday sale. That is a thick stack. I'm so excited to add this all to my collection. A lot of this is spring stuff um, and a lot of it is basics. And then there is, you can see kind of the first hint of some summer foil. Um, it, like I said at the beginning, if you're new to my channel, I use a lot of foiled stickers and um, I really, really love kind of seasonal foil deco. I think it really helps make spreads um, super exciting and fun. So let's start right here with the, with the, what I can tell is summer right off the bat. Oh, she also sent me um, Tara's freebie. I don't know if I put her name in the notes, um, but we're all kind of updating our freebies soon. I do have a freebie with the shop right now. Um, maybe at the end of the video, <laughs> uh, I might have my new one. This is my current one, but it's going to get a huge facelift and be on transparent matte soon with rose gold foil. It'll be really good. You'll want to trust me on that one, <laughs> so you can put my name in the notes if you'd like to to see what that new freebie looks like. Um, okay, so this first stack I think is a lot of the like nautical stuff that I picked up from her. Um, bring back my faves, and this is the rope deco. It's really cute. I like that it's. Um, I like that it kind of looks like the intention is not to just like stick it on the page. It's definitely to like connect something or something like that. So I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with this one. As always with Sadie stickers, I get everything on transparent matte and um, I get it in all three foils. I also picked up this rope knot divider. I thought that would be cute. I use dividers like everywhere in my spread. I think I use, I've said this before, but at least like three dividers and like up to like seven dividers a day when I plan. I'm really into it. So the more dividers, the better. This is a rope divider, just like a very classic straight line. I feel like using these together in the same spread will be good. Um, okay. I grabbed the small wave divider. I actually fell in love with this sticker, um, a very similar version of this from Letters to Apollo last year. I really liked the wave that she had, uh, but I figured I would pick up Sadie Sticker's version. I like that there's like multiple waves and they go multiple different directions here. So I thought I would grab this as a part of the sale. 
I also picked up this seashell deco. Stickers like this in the past I would have like strayed away from because they are so big and normally my style is a lot daintier. Like I tend to go for um, the daintier kinds of foils, but I feel like recently I've had fun uh, kind of pulling bigger stickers like this in with florals and then layering other dainty elements around it. Um, it's definitely a bolder look, but I still think it's really feminine. So I thought I would give this a try to maybe use in my date cover deco or something or the month section. And then this is much more my usual speed. This is the shell mini deco. You can see it's absolutely tiny. I think that's really sweet and cute. And yeah, like it is small. I don't know. I wonder if you guys can hear the frogs that are ribboning outside of my window. There's a creek right outside my window and we are full of frogs right now. <laughs> um, okay. And then this is the shell cluster deco. This is even smaller than the shell mini deco. And I'm obsessed. This is so cute. I probably should have got more than one sheet of each of these um, because these are really good. I really like her cluster deco. Most of the ones that I've got from her, she just does a really good job of kind of like doing really, really small dots and having a lot of different kind of sizes and shapes and directions of clusters, which is really nice for when I'm planning to be able to like always have one that fits whatever space I need. Okay, that was the first packet. We've got many, many more. I'm going to grab this um, Bee Trail one next because I feel like this may have some more kind of summer specific stuff. Oh, it sure does. Okay. Um, I don't know why there's just the single. Oh, I do actually. <laughs> um, I had, she had released the, this Bee Trail deco. I just have it in rose gold right now. And she had sent it to me as an extra um, in gold and silver, but not rose gold. So I just picked up one of the rose gold during the sale. Um, oh gosh. Okay. These are actually more springy than summer, but so beautiful. This is part of her cherry blossom release. And I think these are stunning. Similar to the shells. They're a bit bigger than like I'm normally used to, but I kind of am feeling ready to take a, a bolder kind of chance with stickers like this. So, um, I really just like the movement here. I think these are so lovely. And then similarly to that, I have the Sakura flower deco. Again, these just have a really pretty movement. I think I was doing a um, live plan with me on Instagram live with Rachel of Gathered Plants and she was using something like this. And then I think I watched her plan with me afterwards and I was like dead at at how she used them. They were so beautiful. It, it might've been this sheet or there might be another sheet where they're slightly smaller, um, but just the kind of look of like the falling flowers, I'm so into it. So I can't wait to play around with that. I have a soft spot for cherry blossoms. I've probably mentioned that before. Um, I picked up some of her butterfly deco, same thing, just trying to, um, I like butterflies in my planner and I'm just, you know, I'm used to tiny little dainty ones. So just kind of experimenting or going to experiment with having some bigger deco. Um, and then these are the butterfly halves. I think this will be really cute, like peeking over the top of a date cover or, you know, from fl florals over a box or something like that. Okay, so I got a couple Easter things. I'm actually going to be using a spring kit that feels Eastery to me. Um, but isn't an Easter kit. So I got a lot of, or a few kind of Easter foils that I'll be able to use to make the kit feel more like it was specifically intended for Easter. So I got this hanging egg deco, which is kind of fun. I picked it up in all three foils because I was searching for Easter kit for months and months. So I couldn't find one that I liked, which is why I ended up just using one that isn't Easter specific. So um, this is the bunny ear deco, same thing that I'm going to pull it in. But normally when I um, buy like something for a specific week where I'm not going to use it throughout the season. I'm only going to use it for one week. I would only buy it in the foil that I needed, but it was like game time and I still hadn't picked out a kit yet. So I just bought it in all three foils and I'm hoping that these two things, since it's just these, an egg and some ears, I'm hoping that this is classic enough that I'll want to use it in, you know, future years. I don't know. I tend to not do that. I tend to not use a lot of stuff from the year previous. I know myself better than that, but I'm just kind of keeping my fingers crossed on that one. Um, that I'll be able to use those in, in future years. This is the fence mini divider. I kind of went back and forth on whether I wanted to get this one just because 
it's not my favorite design. I feel like there's kind of daintier or more feminine, less kind of boxy fence patterns, but I ended up going for it because I still think it's cute and I still think I can make it look cute layered with florals. I think there's probably, well, maybe not. I was going to say more like that in other parts of this, but I'm not sure. Okay. And then moving on to, um, some of the florals that I picked up. I love her foiled florals. She does some of the best, in my opinion, foiled florals out there. They go different directions. They have a lot of movement and she'll release a lot of different sheets that are kind of different sizes, but all kind of the same, um, set of branches or florals or whatever so they all kind of go together but you have a ton of different like sizes and directions which is exactly how I like to plan I like to be able to pull in stuff that matches and coordinates but also is different sizes shapes directions flows etc so this is the branch and berry stems again a bunch of different ones but they all kind of coordinate and match and then like I was saying you've got the branch stems here which you know, look like they could have come from the same tree, just different parts of it. So I love that. You've got big ones, you've got little tiny ones, just little two leaf ones. The only thing I wish is that these went in um, different directions, like that they went both ways, but you know, you can only fit so much on a sheet. So there's that. I'm going to grab this one, which I can see has it looks like I got multiples of the branch stems because that's the same thing. I don't know if I did that on purpose. Doesn't seem like I would. Maybe I did. I don't know. But there, there's more branch stems. And then these are the stems and leaves. So I like that these go different directions. But again, it all matches. It'll be really great to be able to have all this to pull into spreads just so everything coordinates. Okay, she also released like um, a kind of wildflower-ish release where she had a bunch of different um, designs with like tulips and lavender and stuff like that. So this is the tulip date topper. I tend to not use these on top of dates. I tend to use them at like the bottom of columns of any, if anything, um, layered with other florals, but they're called date toppers. Um, this is the same thing, but the poppy version. I love poppies. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That scared the crap out of me. There is a bumblebee trying so hard to get into my window. <laughs> it's buzzing so loud. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that, but, um, I'm going to keep on going because he has no intention of stopping and I have no intention of going out there and making him stop. So anyways, okay. Poppy date toppers. And then she also had cluster deco that, um, matched the, um, like date toppers in the rest of the line. It looks like I got, uh, two sets of the poppy cluster deco. I just love cluster deco. And this is a great one for spring. I feel like you can use this spring, summer, fall. Like this is a pretty versatile one. I got the, um, tulip cluster deco to match that tulip date topper. Tulip is like a very generous for that. You would, it just looks like something floating in the wind. It's so small. It's hard to see. Um, and then the lavender cluster deco. So again, just a bunch of kind of florals and stuff. That's just totally my jam. Okay. I'm going to move on now. Let's see. This one has some butterflies. So I'm going to start right here. Cause that feels like it's probably more spring stuff. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so this is the Butterfly Cluster Deco. I have been using this. I can zoom you in even more, honestly. I have been using this, and I'm such a big fan of it. The size and shape and clusters that she have of, has of these butterflies is just so good, and you get so many on a sheet. I've, I think I've almost already used up the uh, rose gold one. It's a really good sheet. Okay, this is the... Um, mini Sakura flower deco that I was talking about earlier that Rachel used in the spread that I really liked. I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. I wish I would have bought two of these because I can see myself using these all the time. They're foiled so perfectly and the movement, you can really see them like looking like they're falling. I just like, it's so good. I love that. Okay. So, um, backing it up to like the lavender cluster deco and the poppy date toppers and all that. This is all part of that same release. So I have some lavender stems that will match all of that. Again, I just like that they're going in different directions and different 
you know, they're all different, but they all just kind of coordinate. I also picked up the leaf flourishes and I got them specifically for, you can see like every other one, there's like two that are combined and then the, every other one is just a single. I got them specifically for the singles. I think those singles have a really, really nice flow to them. More poppy cluster deco. Did I get three poppy cluster decos? It's possible. Um, and then this is the Flourish, um, number four. I think this is really nice. I picked this up to, I just think it's a great size. It's really small and I picked it up because I feel like it has a bunch of different uses. I tend to not go crazy on Flourishes just because a lot of the ones that I see are like too much for me, but I think this one is really, really nice and will pair really nicely like with florals. Okay, and then the next, hold please. I probably should have pre-organized this for you. I'm really sorry that I did not. Um, but I'm gonna check now to make sure this all kind of goes together. Yeah, it does. Okay, so the next thing that she released all together was a bunch of her dividers and like trims um, that she just has some like standard kind of anytime dividers and trims. I went pretty crazy on those. Um, I think these might be a couple orders of those. So um, before I get into that though, I also ordered some heart cluster deco. I already used the, uh, I already used the rose gold. So I only have these two <laughs> to show you. Oh look, here's the rose golds. It's halfway, halfway used up already. So sorry about that. <laughs> um, okay. So let's talk about all of the dividers that she has. I picked up a ton of them. Um, this is lace trim number eight. A bumblebee's back. Um, just very kind of a bolder lace. I picked up a few, quite a few, of dainty the dainty scallop divider. This is one that I use all the time. This is probably one of the most classic and my favorite shape. So I picked up a few of these in multiple foil colors. Um, it's just so dainty and such a fine, nice scallop. I really use this one all the time. So I have a ton of those. Um, this is, let me actually jump back over here. Similarly, I picked up a ton of the dainty line scallop, dainty line scallop divider. So it's, that's, it sounds like the same thing, but it's not, it has like a line and then the scallop underneath. It's super similar, but it just has that kind of double line. So I picked up a ton of those, same thing. I use those all the time. And then last kind of Thing like that. I also picked up just the double line divider for spreads where a scallop doesn't lend to it, but I still really like just like the clean line divider and the double line. I think that's really nice. This is the dainty scallop outline divider. I picked up just one set. I already have a set of these, but I picked up more because I've started using them a lot, just stocking up. This is lace trim number six. I feel like a lot of shops have this lace trim. Um, so I grabbed it because I think also a lot of shops put this into their kits. So it'll match a lot of, um, you know, bottom washing and stuff like that in the kits. And then it looks like I picked up another one of lace trim number eight, which was the first one I showed you. So ton of lace trims. And then last but not least, I picked up some of the just like classic floral stems that are don't really have a season um, just because they're really good. <laughs> um, this is the floral stem extra small. I'm a big fan of these and transparent matte. I actually was just using these in another spread. You can see I used up a bunch of them already. Um, I've had these as long, even, you know, before she had transparent matte paper. I've just been a big fan of those, so stocked up on that. These might be some of my favorite um, branches of all time. I got a million of them. Again, I use these all the time. I use these in like most, the majority of my recent spreads. Um, so really it's just the branch outlines. One of them is filled in. Oh no, these are both the, here we go. You have the branch outlines and the solid branches. So it's the same thing. One is just outlined 
on, on the right and one is filled in. I use them both and I use them in spreads together. Um, and I just love them. I think they're so beautiful. All right. That, let me grab it. Oh, holy crap. All right. That is my very hefty stack from her Bring Back My Faves of $2 Tuesdays. I prefer to shop this way. I like when shops bring back kind of everything that they've had in $2 Tuesdays so then I can go through, pick what I want. Um, I can see a lot of the seasonal stuff that they've released and pick out my faves and only pay for shipping uh, one time <laughs> instead of like, you know, this is probably five different $2 Tuesdays. So that right there will save you 20 bucks. Um, but there you go. That is all of the $2 Tuesdays from Sadie Stickers. Okay, moving on to the kits that I have from Sadie Stickers. Um, I actually, so I picked up the May 2022 kit, which I'm really excited about. And she threw in the strawberry kit as an extra, which I'm also really excited about. These florals are absolutely gorgeous. Let me first um, talk about the May 2022 kit because I am so stoked on this kit. I... It's like one of those kits where I'm like, okay, this is a perfect kit. Like it, it's just, it's a perfect kit. It's so good. Um, so here it is. It's the colors in this are just absolutely perfect. They're so light and the color palette is so nice. The florals are like, couldn't be better. Literally couldn't be better. This is exactly the type of floral I'm looking for. I love how she's outlined the florals too. These full boxes are just so soft and pretty. I love it. And I have like, you know, these butterflies from her shop and stuff that'll match it. I just, I'm really excited about this kit. But the most exciting thing about this kit to me, hands down, without a doubt, I, it made my day when she announced this. She has this new champagne in quotes foil um champagne gold foil it's really just a light foil a light gold foil and i'm so excited about it i haven't bought a gold kit from her shop for probably almost a year now because um her previously the gold that she let me actually grab an example okay i don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera here i'm i was going to zoom in but or zoom out but I actually think zooming in is better. You might, yeah, you might not be able to tell, but okay. The kit right here, this little things kit, it was part of her advent. And this is what her gold previously was. And this is same thing. Um, if you order like on her transparent mat, you get a regular, just regular gold foil, shiny, regular gold foil. If you order anything on her premium mat, so whether that is, um, just a sticker on white paper or like a sticker kit with printed colors. It was this matte gold foil, which on camera looks fine. Um, but in person, it is very, very different than any of the gold foil that I have in my collection because it is not shiny. Um, it's a matte color and it just is like a different foil type than anything that I have in my collection. So I stopped buying kits um in gold from her shop just because I didn't prefer this um I just prefer my foils to match as best as they can I mean you're never really going to get gold foils that match from different sticker shops but I just like my foil shiny um and this champagne gold foil is shiny and it's like a absolutely perfect like 100% perfect light gold foil it is so nice it is light gold but it's still warm toned it's shiny it is just such a pretty color it's just like a very standard light gold but a really nice one um so I'm really excited about that all of her sticker kits since she released this it that are like gold have been in this foil um she said she would make decisions based on what people's reaction is. I can't imagine people would not like this foil, but you let her know your opinion. I think it's wonderful and delightful. So, um, okay, that's enough of me gushing about the foil, but the kit, the foil, the florals, like it's just so good. I'm so excited. Here is the boxes sheet, very lightly foiled so pretty. I just love the color palette that she's picked out here. I think it is so nice and just like very light deco and foiling and floraling. I really enjoy that. I do wish though, the only thing I'll say is that 
I really don't like the boxes that aren't whited out. I just wish all the, I wish they would all match, <laughs> you know, like, well, that's a me thing. I don't think other people care about that, but I just like when all my boxes are whited out. Um, okay, here is the page that has a lot of your kind of sidebar stuff on it. I really like how, when she does florals, the headers like this with the foiled florals. I think that's absolutely stunning. Um, and then I also tend to use these headers down here with just the solid line. I really like those. I tend to not use the confetti foiled ones, but there are three if you like three. I really like how she does her sidebar boxes now. They don't have any lines. They're just really decorative and soft and feminine. Um, and then you've got the rest of your kind of layering stuff there. Oh, so pretty. Date covers. Wow, this bottom washi is so good. Are you kidding? So good. So this, I think, matches that floral, or sorry, the um, lace. I'm trying to see if I can grab it. Hold, please. Here we go. Okay, I can't find it, but I'm pretty sure this matches one of the um, lace dividers that I just showed you. And then the, the florals, the way that she's like done the traced um, foiling on top of them, she does such a good job, truly. Like it's really lightly done. It's just kind of outlines. You can still see all of the like printed details of the florals. It just looks so beautiful. Um, it's so delicate and just such a faint outline. It just really like, it doesn't take away from any of the artwork. It just enhances it in my opinion. So I really love that. Um, I also really like that she has these in her kit. These are like headers, um, but they are not the, they're like maybe three quarters of the size of a regular header. They're a lot thinner. I tend to use those in my sidebar. I think they're really nice. Um, okay. So what I just showed you right there, those four pages, is what her standard kit format looks like for a weekly kit. All four pages are foiled, um, and that's what you get if you were to just purchase the kit. So everything else that I'm about to show you is a purchased add-on. Um, this is the journaling sheet. I've decided to start picking this up, and I think this is a really, really nice one. I've just wanted to play around a little bit with some bigger stickers and just kind of challenge myself. I love some of the um, clip art that she has in here, like this wooden like flower box and the fence and the swing. I mean, it's so pretty, and the torn paper, I love that, as well as um, some of these like paint swatches. I just, it's really nice, and so I thought I'd start picking this up to kind of play around with some of those things in my weekly spread. I'm not going to do a separate journaling spread. And then of course the, my favorite part, <laughs> um, is the, oh my God, did I only get three? What is wrong with me? This is the, I'm, I might have to go pick up another one. <laughs> I like that four. Um, but this is the floral add on and it is perfect. I mean, it's so good. I really like how small these bouquets are. I kind of prefer a smaller bouquet because I can always, um, I don't know, I just I just like the small ones. And then you have all these little individual florals, um, which I like, but I only like when they're accompanied by little individual leaves so I can make my own like leafy bouquets myself. And she's done such a good job of adding different sizes, shapes, flows. That cut me off somewhere, but I think I was just gushing about how good this floral sheet is. It's absolutely perfect. I like how small it is, etc. Um, this is just a perfect floral sheet. Like it is so good. These bouquets are such a good size and shape and flow. All of these stickers have such a good flow. Like it's just, it's very well done. This is the functional add-on, pretty simple. And then um, the other thing that I really like about her, like if you get a, um, a, like the May 2022 or one of her monthly kits for like in the weekly version, you can also pick up, like she does the same um, kit for in a monthly version, if that makes sense. That's so confusing, but um, <laughs> there's like a monthly sticker kit for May, but it has the same clip art. And so I picked up the monthly clip art sheet because it has, oh my God, the florals. I can't, this clip art is so good. Um, 
but it has all of the like florals but just a bigger size and then it also has a ton of the clip art that you wouldn't necessarily or you don't ever get I should say on the floral sheet so I love when I like the monthly kit and the weekly version of it because then I just pick up the monthly like floral clip art deco sheet and that's so fun so I cannot wait to use this I mean the combination of like how small the florals are on this sheet with like these bigger ones it's so good I'm so excited um, okay, so that was everything that I picked up for the May 2022 weekly kit. It's so good. I'm so excited. I'm going to use this like in March probably because I just can't wait <laughs> to get my hands on it. Um, sorry, it's blurry. Okay, that's everything for May 2022. I also picked up the March 2022 floral sheet just because um, I have a Two Little Bees kit with the same clip art. Um, but I just wanted to get some Sadie Stickers florals as well because she does a really good job of having the individual flowers with the leaves and stuff. Two Little Bees doesn't do that. So when I saw they had the same um, the same florals for you know kits I decided to pick up this as an addition to the florals that I already have from two little bees for that kit and then this strawberry kit um Alicia threw into my order so thank you so much I'm so excited about it my guess I'm guessing she threw it in because I was like so excited and gushing about the new gold foil and this kit has the new gold foil um, and it's just like a really pretty kind of strawberry shortcake tea party kind of looking kit. I'm such a sucker for pink. So um, the color palette on this one is really nice. Go through it a bit faster since we just already went through the kit format. There we go. I love these headers. So pretty. Again, she does such a good job of like the traced foiled florals and then here is your bottom washi again those big traced florals it's like a brick pattern or something okay so there's the kit and then I really am obsessed with the florals it looks like they threw in um three sheets of it and they're just really pretty I love um the colors of these so thank you so much for that Sadie stickers team that's really sweet all right, so absolutely massive Sadie Stickers haul. I was going to try and lay all this out for you, but like I I cannot. <laughs> it's just too much. So, um, oh, but this is going everywhere. Um, that's everything that I have right now from Sadie Stickers. Once again, I do PR for the shop. I have a coupon code. It is Lauren20 for 20% off your order. And this is my current freebie. You can put my name in the notes to get my freebie. But I think by the time you see this haul, it will be updated. It'll still be rose gold, but it will be on transparent matte and it'll be different. So, um, but it'll have some of the stuff that you saw in this haul today on it for sure. So, um, okay. So that is everything for Sadie stickers. Okay. Next up is the pretty pink co. Um, if you've watched any of my previous hauls, you know that between the pretty pink co and Sadie stickers, that's where I get the majority of my kind of seasonal foiled deco. However, I think that this, I place, I always have a couple orders, I swear, of $2 Tuesdays with the Pretty Pink Co. <laughs> um, but I think that this order, if I'm not mistaken, um, wasn't actually seasonal foil. I think it was more along the lines of um, just foiled basics, which are also good to have, kind of similar to what I just showed you in the Sadie Stickers $2 Tuesdays of just some of the like classic lace dividers and stuff that isn't seasonal. I picked up a lot of stuff like that from the Pretty Pink Co. as well. So she has a new freebie, like a shop freebie, which is really exciting. This is a really nice one, kind of springy with a bunch of florals. Gotta love that. Um, and then, so that's the shop freebie. I also, I really like that she puts a shop freebie that's like a really good current classic 
like you're gonna use it if you bought anything from her shop <laughs> kind of freebie I love that she adds that I feel like shops don't really do that anymore because they have PR freebies but I really appreciate that she does that um, speaking of I also have a freebie with her shop um, this is my freebie if you put my name in the notes to seller this is what you'll get um, you can also use the code plan most plan for 15% off your order oh so good yeah this is just a bunch of like really dainty stuff which I'm obsessed with so just some really classic stuff um, these are the dainty dividers I have these from like every shop I like to try everybody's out and they're just some of my absolute favorite stickers so this is hers these are super dainty let me grab some to compare okay um a ton of shops have these the first one that I saw in my collection was the miss and meow one you definitely don't need both <laughs> they're pretty much the same but you know I just have to try them from everyone um there's also these dainty strings that I grabbed um that are just you know chopped up versions of this essentially and then same with the dainty mini dividers again I probably didn't need both of those frankly looking at them now I mean, the Dainty Strings has a bunch of different sizes, and then the Dainty Mini Dividers, they're all the same size, but you probably don't need both. You could just cut it. Um, I thought these were really pretty. These are the Dainty Garlands. You see a lot of, like, garland washi and stuff, but I like how, again, how dainty and simple they are, but they're also just, like, individual instead of a garland. I thought those were really pretty and just, like, really nice layering there. I got a bunch of lace dividers. Um, let's see. I got a couple sets of the lace dividers 1.0. These are actually pretty well foiled, very well foiled. Um, these are the lace dividers 3.0. Lace dividers 4.0. I don't know how much I love these ones. I probably I think I like the other two better, honestly. And then these are the lace dividers 5.0. This is the kind of classic one that a lot of shops have. I think this actually matches that Sadie Stickers lace. It's probably the same one from that bottom washi I was talking about. And then here is 6.0. And 7.0. Oops. Um, these are 2.0 blush doilies. I don't remember ordering these. They're pretty. <laughs> and then, did I really order more of these? Hold on, I gotta look at my invoice. Okay, I'm laughing at myself because I just literally have ordered these in every pretty pink coat order that I've placed recently. I have enough now. I'm gonna stop ordering them. I just really love the, these dividers and I kept running out of them when I was planning my winter spreads but I have more than enough for next year. And then these are my favorite mini boxes. I use these in every single spread that I do. These are so good for layering on top of, um, I mean you can use them by themselves obviously but they, they don't go the full width of the column and that makes them really good for me. Like just the the height and the size of them is so nice for layering on top of like half size boxes or third size boxes that come in kits that aren't whited out that I like I personally like my boxes whited out so I use that to kind of DIY my own third and half boxes and kits um, and then I'm not honestly I feel like I don't need to totally go over these in such detail but most of the dividers that I picked up that you saw I just grabbed um, the matching bottom washi so that way I can kind of coordinate those in my spread honestly just a lot of lace there you go there's kind of a pretty all right don't know where that cut me off but this is the dainty garland washi which matches those dainty garlands that I showed you I think this is so pretty maybe you could use this like across the bottom and then just a couple of those dainty garlands in the date cover area to make your spread look really cohesive or you could use this across the top and then use the like individual ones kind of throughout the spread 
think that would look really cohesive too. So, um, all right, that's everything. Let me zoom out and show you. Okay. That's everything from the pretty pink co. Once again, my code with her shop is plan most plan for 15% off your order. And you can put my name in the notes to sell her to get my light gold freebie. Okay. Next up is a really small, Actually, this was a gift from, from Tao. This is Crafts by Taui. So thank you, Tao. I really appreciate it. Um, she knew I was looking for some of her gardening stickers. So she um, just sent me a bunch of the gardening stickers that she had on hand. Um, I do have a coupon code and a freebie for Crafts by Taui. You can use the code Lauren10 for 10% off your order. And then you can put my name in the notes to get my freebie. It's a random foil pull. Um, I really love it. I think it's a super cute freebie. So there's that. Um, so let's take a look. These are just some of her gardening and like, oh, cute. Um, her spring stickers. I've been really into gardening lately. So um, I was really grateful that she sent these along to me. Um, these are the flower pots. Really cute. I use these to mark like releasing ladybugs in my garden in a recent spread. And I thought that was really cute. These are the Easter eggs. Oh my God. Yay. She sent me stuff. She... I didn't think she was going to send me. I'm really excited. <laughs> um, okay, these are the Easter eggs. So cute. I'll be using these in my Easter spread for sure in the rose gold foil. I love that. I'll save the other ones for future Easters. I have an idea for those already. Um, this is what I'm super excited about. So good. These are the gardening tools. I am spending like more time gardening than almost anything else besides maybe like working right now and I am loving every second of it so I'm so glad to have these so cute here are the rain boots I've also been using these to mark gardening I need a pair of like boots like this to garden in but I just think they're so sweet so thanks for those I love that they go different directions that's wonderful um this is the spring accessories I love it Love it. I feel like I would actually probably use these more so to mark like beach days or something um, in the summer. So these I think I'm going to set aside for summer, but I think this is perfect for that sort of thing. And then, oh my God, perfect. These are the, um, the house. Uh, let's see. This is just the gardening. It's like a gardening can and tools. Again, perfect. Perfect for what I'm looking for. And again, I love that they go different directions. These stickers have such a good flow. So, um, all right, that is everything from Tao. Thank you, Tao, so much for sending these. I really appreciate it. It was really kind of you. Definitely check her out. Her $2 Tuesdays are the best in the game. You guys already know if, if you've watched my videos before, she is the only person pretty much that I use um, foiled icons from because she is just quite literally the best at drawing them. And her style is so consistent across everything that she puts out. So love that. Um, once again, coupon code is Lauren10 and put my name in the notes for my freebie. All right. I'm really excited to open this My Newest Addiction package. It looks like she put a little note in there for me. Um, she has her new icons that she sent along and then a kit. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this order for My Newest Addiction. I do have a coupon code for this shop. It is Lauren15. I'm going to open this up and read this and I'll be right back. Okay, that was so sweet. Thank you, Laura. I'm going to message you right after I film this, but that was a really nice note. Um, so if you're watching, thank you so much. Um, okay, so I got a kit and I got some of her icons, which is what that note was about. And she threw in some extras of those too, which is really exciting. These are new to her shop. Um, so I want to show you um, what all you can get. Um, she like overhauled all of the icons from her shop. And let's see, I think at the time when she overhauled them, she did a release where you could get them on these icon samplers, which is really, really great. I kind of prefer to buy icon samplers, especially like with a shop. Like I will use this for like a spread and I will use all my icons from this sheet kind of a thing. And I'll probably supplement it with white or stationary icons, but I like all my foiled icons to match. So I kind of love the idea of this sampler a lot. I think it's really wonderful. Laura hand draws a lot of these. She's super talented. Um, and they just have such a distinct, like my newest addiction style to them. And she's got such a lovely style. So I'm a big fan of that. I think now you can buy the, sh the icons 
as like individuals in her shop. I don't think they're available on the samplers anymore, but if you're interested, definitely tell her because I think she's open to, to that kind of feedback. She also sent them to me um, on transparent mat. I don't think these have been or are available in her shop according to that little note, but they're really pretty on transparent mat. I tend to not use icons on transparent mat because they're not as good for um, layering with florals like I like to do, but honestly looking at these here, I'm like, they're they're just foiled so nicely on transparent mat. So um, let me just kind of zoom you in so you can see. And I think that like where a lot of this came from was um, she had asked for feedback like on her Instagram stories and I had said something about uh, like the foiled icons in her kits or something like that. I don't even remember how it started. And then she started asking me questions about it. I really like icons in kits to be dimensional like these, but also be colored in. So like have matched the patterns of the kit, have white, have shadow, etc. cetera. So um, not in the kit that I got, but in her kits going forward, you'll have these kind of icons and they will be colored in and they will have patterns to match the kit. So if you like that too, um, she will offer those in her kit now, which is really exciting. Exciting. Um, so those are the icons. Let's take a look at the kit. Actually, there's a couple freebies here. So this freebie seems to match the kit that I got, but with some transparent, um, on transparent paper. So that's kind of fun. And then I also like about her kits, she sends you the foiled date dots to match. These are on transparent matte, which is really nice. This is a freebie that I got. Um, with her that I think comes probably with your orders. This is a really great freebie because it tells you like the names. That's I've never seen that. I think that's a really great idea because if you're like, oh, I love this, then you can just go to her shop and search for rectangle boxes. That's kind of brilliant. I can't believe no one's thought of that before or I don't know. I think that's really smart. Um, okay, so here's the kit that I picked up. Again, she has such a distinct style that I've always really liked and appreciated. Um, the way she kind of puts stuff together is just, she's really talented. So I picked up this kit called Tomorrow in Light Gold Foil. I've mentioned a lot like with the Crafts by Tally icons and if you've watched any of my Plan With Me's, I've been really, really into gardening. That's been like my new favorite hobby and um, I wanted to get a gardening kit for the week that I planted my spring garden um, that my husband and I planted it in our like raised garden beds. So um, this is the one I went for and I just think it's such a pretty spring kit and it's just garden themed and I love it. To plant a seed is to believe in tomorrow. Oh, so sweet. Like how cute is that? <laughs> um, so here's a little glance at the full boxes. Kind of zoom you in. I like that um, you've got the like eight regular full boxes and then this one could definitely be used in the sidebar since it's kind of whited out. And then you have some labels down here. This one is scalloped down on the right there. Here's your bottom washi page. Um, I haven't used one of our kits in a long time. So I'm trying to kind of figure out the kit format. I love the big foiled florals. She has also done a really great job of just really lightly outlining and tracing them. It's definitely not overpowering. The foiling on it is just like a really lovely accent. Um, and then what are these? Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, these are tiny little strips. And there's like, yeah, two of each. No, ooh, ooh, three of each color. Wow, that's a fun little addition. I love that. And then you've got date covers. And then I really like the script of the um, sidebar headers that you have right here. Here are your boxes. I really like the ones that she has up here. I don't tend to use half boxes. And then you've got third boxes. I don't know if you can tell. I try not to tell you things that you can see, <laughs> but I don't know if you can see the cut lines here. These are scallops, and then these are scalloped quarter boxes. You can see that. More scalloped quarter boxes, and then cut in down here are just little, like, layering, um, like that. There's three of those cut into each color. So that is your boxes page. I'd probably prefer more third boxes, but I really like these guys up top here. 
Okay, here is, um, we've got some headers. You know me, I love the foiled florals right there. Those are my favorite. And then sidebar stuff, you've got another full box, which is nice. So this is what I'm talking about. In future kits, instead of having just these like printed gray and pink um, icons, we can zoom in a bit. You'll have ones that look more like this, but they're foiled and they have like dimension, pattern, color, etc. to them. Um, these are flags, both of these, and then you've got some more fancy boxes and that is your four page kit. So all four pages are foiled. That's what you get if you just pick up the kit. Oops, wrong way. If you just pick up the kit with no add-ons, that's what you get. And then I picked up the um, floral add-on. I got three of it. I'm going to be totally transparent and say, um, the floral, like the bouquets are really pretty. I really like that. She's got different shapes and styles and their different directions, etc. Um, really pretty kind of design. I probably won't be able to use them just because the, um, they've got a really thick white border and I, that's really hard for me because I kind of like most of what my the way I use florals is by layering them like in and around other stickers so I can't have a thick white border so if you know a shop that has these florals um and has a thinner border let me know because I'll go buy them to use with this kit <laughs> but the design of them is really really pretty um there's also a deco page that you can get and I picked it up just because it has all of the little gardening tools which I thought would be really cute to use and mark like on you know the gardening day that we have and then I also picked up, there's the trims that you can get, which I am such a fan. I'm so glad she offers this sheet. I'm such a fan of um, these kind of like floral washi trims that um, shops are starting to offer. I will always, if a shop offers a sheet like this, I will 10 out of 10 times pick it up to get this trim. It's so nice. It's just such a versatile kind of thing to have. And then you also get... Um, some like torn paper and then the kind of standard like floral trims like that. You get a ton of those. Again, I wish they were a little bit, you know, cut closer to the actual florals instead, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll find a shop that has the same ones. And then I also picked up the journaling kit just because it had a lot of good stuff. Let me zoom you back out again. Just a lot of like really pretty stuff. I, like I said, I've been trying to pick up journaling kits when shops offer them just because um, I think it's a good idea for me to kind of branch out and try and use some of this stuff, not in a journaling spread, just in my weekly spread. Like the torn paper, all of the little clip art, um, some of the like watercolor -y, or these are not watercolor, but just the kind of like paint swatches with the florals. It's all really nice. So um, I'm excited to give some of the stickers on this sheet I tried to kind of add some more patterns and textures and something a little bit different to my spread. So that is everything in the, I think that's every add-on you could get. <laughs> I think I got <laughs> for the tomorrow kit. Super fun. Again, her design is so nice. Um, so there's that again. And then, like I said, she does offer these icons now, I think on individual sheets rather than the sampler. So if you're interested, definitely go check those out. Um, once again, I have a coupon code for her shop. It is Lauren 15 for 15% 15 off my newest addiction. Okay. Next up, this is not in order. This was sent to me from Paper Trail Plans. I'm really excited about this. Um, Paper Trail Plans, you guys know, is a favorite shop of mine. And they collabed with my friend Tay of Shante Plans to put out a Juneteenth kit, which is just so wonderful. And I was just so happy to hear about that collab. That's one of those collabs where you're just like, Yes, I love it. Um, I would highly recommend, I'm gonna show you this kit right now, of course, but I would highly recommend going to watch Tay's um, video about this kit just because she put so much heart and soul into it and you can really tell how much this kit means to her um, in that video. I'm gonna try my best to do it justice here, but I really recommend, um, I really recommend watching that to learn a little bit more about this kit and the kind of thought that went into it. So um, if you order this kit, you get this 
it's called cell liberation, by the way, it is, like I said, a Juneteenth kit. Um, and it's, you know, about celebrating, um, Juneteenth. So it has like the 19th balloons and it has Juneteenth. This is in gold foil to match the rest of the kit. It has the Galveston, Texas stamp, which I need to brush up on my history, but if I'm not mistaken, that is where the last slaves in the U S were freed. Um, so it kind of has a mix of like historical references regarding Juneteenth. And then also, um, the whole kind of theme of the kit, let me grab it and just show you is the whole theme of the kit is kind of like has some of the historical theme to it, but it also has some of that Texas kind of Southern feel to it too, since that's where, you know, on June 19th in Texas is where the last slaves were freed. So I think that's part of where the inspiration came from. Um, before I get into the rest of the kit, there's also, they also partnered together, um, Tay and Paper Trail Plans to make these inspiring quotes by black history makers. Tay requested these and they now sell them in the shop, which is really, really cool. Um, I don't think these are Juneteenth specific. You can use them in journaling spreads or if you just need to like, you know, sometimes, um, you just want to like put a quote in a full box or something, or, you know, you have endless creative ways where you might use, want to use a foiled quote. They're on transparent matte paper and I have them in all three foils. They actually do have, um, light gold in their shop, but the gold that they sent me for all of this is it, um, the hot gold. And I think that's because the kit is in hot gold. Um, oh, so cool. Okay. So this is the vintage floral stems. Um, they send them in all three foils, but they do match the kit. So the foiled florals in the kit, you can buy those separately, which is really cool. So you could use them with that kit or not up to you. I love that. All right. So I actually, this is another day I got interrupted last night and couldn't finish, but I think I had left off talking about, um, I think I already talked about all of the extra foil and I was just going to start going through the, um, the kit itself, which is in gold foil. It's definitely a very hot gold foil and it's themed around, it has different elements, um, from like the Galvin's Texas sort of thing and just being kind of Southern. Again, I would totally recommend watching Tay's video where she can really talk about where she pulled some of the, um, the inspiration for some of that from, but you've got the hands together, which is really beautiful. It looks like maybe like a child and a mother, or something's hands. And then you have the cell liberation day, um, scroll right there, the 19th, the Galvinson stamp, and then, um, kind of paired with just a bunch of really pretty florals and Southern kind of elements and butterflies. I'm a really big fan of their kit format. I haven't used it yet, but they have kind of everything that I look for in a kit format, which is you get a fair amount of, well, first of all, all of their boxes are either whited out or they're just plain where you could put a box on top of it to white it out. You get a lot of third boxes, which I really appreciate. Very few um, quarter and half boxes, which I don't really use. And then a lot of these, um, mini or midi style boxes that are whited out, they don't go the full width of the column. I like that you have like simple kind of backgrounds and there's not too much foiling on the boxes. Um, so you can really add that in yourself, which I really appreciate. And then you get some of the floral clip art in the kit itself. Um, this page has headers. These are really cool. These are like um, little dividers that are smaller than the size of a header and then lots of different kind of layering shapes. I love the ovals up here. Let's see, did they send me both bottom washi? Yes. Thank you. Paper trail plans team. I love you guys. Okay. So, um, there's two different, you can kind of choose your own bottom washies with their kit. So this is the like kind of standard classic original one where you have, um, their bottom washi. It, it is split but it does have like cut out so you could extend it if you wanted to like that. You get a small, a very tiny strip, a small strip and the large strip there and just the kind of classic um, style. And then you also get the kind of classic style squared off date covers. You could also choose instead to get 
this washi page, which um, still has split washi. I wonder, no. Okay, so the bottom strip, this is split washi, but then the cutout floral strip is not split. But I've been a really big fan of the cutout floral strip. However, I like to I like to have both because I still like to have the kind of classic washi at the bottom of my spread and then I like to use the floral cutouts like generally somewhere around the date cover area. So, really like that. And the other change here is instead of having the squared off cutout date covers, you get these that are like kiss cut kind of around the I know that that's not the right way to use the word kiss cut, but you know what I mean. They're cut around the actual paint swatch themselves instead of in a rectangle. So I'm really glad to have both of those. Um, and then, oh my gosh, they sent it all along. I love it. Okay, so this is the um, floral deco sheet that you could purchase with the kit. Super beautiful florals. I love the colors. They really do feel southern. and it has a lot of butterflies, which... Um, Butterflies always remind me of Tay. <laughs> and then there's also like the clip art deco that still has some florals and some butterflies, but also has some of the other more like southern elements and the hands and stuff that you see in the rest of the kit. So those are the florals. And then they also have the um, journaling kit. So the, the journaling kit is a two page kit. Um, this is really interesting. I've never seen anything like this. These are like ombre outlined florals and then you have some really big florals and clip art pieces and then these are um, like kiss cut trims so you get eight of those and then on this journaling page um, you just have a lot of kind of swatchy pieces some more of those like um, what do we call it the like floral kiss cut washi trims and then torn paper. Oh, you get that stamp, not foiled. The date covers are also um, not foiled on the journaling page. And yeah, I'm a big fan of some of the watercolor ones. I think they're really pretty. And I like all, there's just so much floral in this. I love it. So, okay. So that is everything um, for the Cell Liberation Kit, which is again, a, um, a Juneteenth kit. Um, which is a collab between Shante Plans and Paper Trail Plans. I totally recommend supporting this collab. I think it's really, really awesome. I love that Tay was able to kind of work with the shop to bring her vision to light for this. Um, so definitely go check it out. I do have a coupon code. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame here. I do have a coupon code for Paper Trail Plans, and I will have them uh, linked below. Um, the coupon code is Lauren15. Okay, it's literally the next day and I got my next Paper Trail Plans order. This is another um, $2 Tuesday. I'll show you the envelope again. I'm sure I just showed it to you. Um, this is another $2 Tuesday and um, this one is more spring themed. So I was going to hold. I was like, oh, I'll just hold it for my next haul. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to put all of the rest of the spring stuff into this haul. So I think some of these things, this is a pretty big order. Some of these things um, you may have seen in my last haul and I stocked up on a few more of them just because I um, was just stocking up on making sure I had everything spring wise. So um, I'm not going gonna, gonna to try and do not too much, go into too much detail here, here since you literally just watched it. But again, I got another one of these beautiful um, spring freebies in the gold foil. Again, I just really appreciate that she does like a shop freebie with some seasonal stuff. And then this is my freebie. Again, code plan motion plan for 15% off and name of the notes for my freebie. Okay, we're definitely seeing a lot of repeats here. Um, I'm going to just go through the um, lace dividers really quickly because I think I probably showed you all of these already there. So there we go. I got 9.0, 3.0, and 1.0. I got more of each of those. And then, okay, I ordered a, just a couple Easter things. I think I already talked about this with Crafts by Towie. I got them in all three foils just because I didn't know at the time what my Easter kit was going to be. So I did get some Easter cluster deco. Easter clusters it's called this is probably a like I in my perfect world this would be a bit daintier um 
I don't know if I'll actually end up using it because it is a little bit large for me for what I'm for the way that I use clusters but there's that you know you never know till you have it in person and then I also grabbed the Easter strings I love the strings from her shop like I'm just such a I have such a good time decorating with them especially in the date cover area it's cut it's become like almost a crutch <laughs> for me if I have them to decorate the date covers like that okay these floral clusters are too good I know I showed um like the cherry blossom ones I don't know if I already showed these oh my gosh these are foiled really well too I don't know if you can tell sometimes I notice with some of her dainty stuff the foiling can be a bit like I don't know how to describe it like you don't it didn't get pulled off in all the right spots but these actually look really dainty and pretty I really like those a lot I'm excited for that um I grabbed the floral dividers so these are like straight cut around the bottom and kiss cut around the top which I really think is very pretty probably layer those with florals um I grabbed the floral mini deco I like to use stuff like this to layer behind like the printed florals that I have from kits I think I had this in my last haul these are the garden creatures it's just like butterflies dragonflies bees birds birds and the bees if you will and then um let's see I got a lot of these garden dividers I can see myself using these quite a bit I just think these are really nice um to layer with um with florals like especially at the bottom of a column um or even like with some of those like floral washi trims the kit kiss cut washi trim something like that um I got more of these garden fences I think I had these in my last haul but I picked up another one just because you only you know this is enough for one spread for me so picked up some more and then um I picked up these a few each I think of the spring fields same kind of thing as the ones before but I just think those are really nice to layer with florals especially at the bottom of columns um oh these are really cool too so this is a similar concept oh wait no no hold on this is the spring dividers so the same kind of florals and leaves but in their kiss cut so you could layer you could totally layer this over a header if you wanted to and use it like a um a overlay like a header overlay or since it doesn't have you know a rectangular cutout around it you could use it a million other different ways so I really like that and then okay this is what I was getting excited about these mini spring fields I love this this might be my favorite sticker um in what I've pulled out in this part of the haul so far I think these are going to look so good <laughs> layered with florals like so so good um date cover deco I don't know super into that I grabbed the mini spring deco again I've kind of talked about this before but I just like having all of the kind of matching stuff um this matches with all of the dividers and the spring mini spring fields that I just showed you it's all the same florals um and I really like the mix that she has on here these will be perfect to layer under bouquets like floral bouquets um, from the printed florals that I have I do wish you know stuff was going different directions but I'll totally survive um, and then oh this is kind of random um, I got some scalp dividers these are kiss cut kind of random definitely not spring and then I grabbed the garden window I thought these would be cute I actually got these on matte paper instead of a transparent matte um, I thought this could be cute with like layered over some kits nowadays have these arches I thought that would be kind of cute to maybe layer over an arch or something like that I don't know just kind of springy and I never know how to use those dang arches anyway so <laughs> that was an option and then okay I'm gonna again really quickly go through some of the washi trims that I got zoom out a bit um definitely nothing special these match these right here match some of the garden washi these also match the headers that I picked up this is the floral washi and the spring fields washi and then of course last but not least the fences so these match all the different headers and dividers that I got 
Um, all right, so that is that. All right, that is everything from this spring $2 Tuesday from the Pretty Pink Co. Once again, you can use my code PLANMOSHPLAN for 15% off the Pretty Pink Co. And you can put my name in the notes to get my freebie. All right, so the next thing that I want to show you, I this isn't from a sticker shop, so I apologize. This is just from my friend Tara of the Sticker Garden. Um, she offered to send me some florals to match this um, kit from Crafts by Tawi called Bloom, which she had the florals for. This was the floral sheet from Crafts by Tawi, which was really minimal, I think, on um, like the amount of bouquets. So she offered to send me some because she was making some for herself as well. So thank you, Tara. I really appreciate it. Again, she doesn't have a sticker shop. Um, she just makes them for herself and was kind enough to send me some. So let's see. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? Did we talk about this? Maybe we talked about this. This is cute as heck. Hold, please. Okay, let me show you. So first, this is this is what she sent me um, for what she made herself for to match the Crafts by Tally kit. These florals are absolutely amazing. They match. It's the same ones, but they this is like exactly what I'm looking for. So I love this. Thank you so much, Tara. These are going to be so nice. She's kiss cut them so well. Wow. Really, really beautiful. Um, so those are the kind of florals that she sent to match that. And then the really exciting part is she sent over these trims. Um, this is on a really nice premium matte paper too. She sent over the trims and then this like washi trim, which y'all know I've been talking about this in this haul a lot. I'm really into these washi trims, the cut out floral ones. Tara is also really into them as well. I hope shops start offering these as add-ons more because they're just so good. I don't want to, you know, I won't have to bug Tara every time I want one, you know? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but so that's that to match the um, bloom kit from Craftsway Tally. So I love that. And then she also sent me these from Paper Crown Planner. Do I have this kit and she knows it and I didn't? Did we talk about this? Wow, this is so nice. Paper Crown Planner has like a... Paper Crown Planner, I'm pretty sure, is a shop where you can like print them at home and this is perfect like I, I her floral sheet this might be the best floral sheet I've seen so good these are so super kiss cut and like I love that you have two options of the bottom washi super kiss cut I actually prefer this small strip this small strip is amazing this this is what I'm looking for shops anybody this is what I'm looking for. <laughs> That's so good. Wow. Wow. I love how dainty that is, but it's like full florals. Incredible. Okay, great. All right. Well, so that's what Tara sent me. I just wanted to showcase it just to say thanks to Tara. Tara does YouTube videos. So if you haven't um, subscribed to her and checked her out already, definitely do. She's super creative. Um, she obviously loves florals like I do. So if you are into my kind of planning, you'll like her as well. Um, and I think that's it. Thanks so much, Tara. I really appreciate it. All right. I am so excited for the next portion of this haul. Probably the last, but I'm not sure. I have so much good stuff here. Um, I have kits from Sadie Stickers, Two Lil Bees, and Panda Bird Designs. And then, of course, adding to all of my, like, foiled stickers that I always have. We've got the Pretty Pink Co., more Sadie stickers, Paper Trail Plans, which I'm really excited to show you, and Bloom Paper Studio. So, um, this is what's up next. All right, next up I have paper trail plans. I'm really excited about what I'm going to show you here, which I've already opened. I do try to open everything with you like as I talk through on camera. So my real first impression reactions are like true to form. <laughs> but I, I did have to open this one early because this was something, an idea that I had had that I had asked just like openly in a video for and um, Susie and Jess, well mainly Jess of Paper Trail Plains had reached out to me and said, hey, we want to make this happen. Can we work with you on this? And they did and it's wonderful. And so they sent it to me and um, I already took a look at all of them just to like 
review them before they posted them. Um, and I'm really, really excited about it. It is their like mini box sampler. So uh, if you've watched any of my videos, well, first I can show you their current spring freebie, um, which is really cute. Um, it's got a bunch of really great stuff like rainy day farmers market pick. I mean, these are, these words are all just like so useful for spring. And this is in light gold foil with their, um, transparent matte paper. Love it. So there's the freebie. Um, okay. Back to, back to this, like the box samplers or these functional samplers, which I have half upside down. So if you've watched any of my recent plan with me's actually not even recent, if you've watched like any of my plan with me's for probably the past year or so, I, um, have always done this. I have this in front of me. This is what I've been working on forever. I really like to, to write on whited out boxes when, sh when shops have kits that have really patterned boxes or really dark boxes or whatever the, for whatever reason, the box isn't whited out. There's a color or pattern in the background. I like to take a sticker like this and white out the box. So then when I'm writing it, is clean and I can see what I'm writing without it interfering with like background colors. And I just think having the, all of my boxes be white helps my spreads look cleaner and better. I just, I, to me, it looks better when everything has, I'm always writing on a white background, like whether I'm writing on the page or whether I'm writing on a sticker, the background is white. And then, you know, I can have whatever florals or box or whatever behind it, but I just really prefer the look of the background being white. And for a long time I was using, I mean, I have a lot of kind of go-to stickers for this. Um, my Pretty Pink Co. boxes work really, really well over top of um, any kind of third box for uh, or half box that a kit may come with those tend to work really well um, I have some from Crafts by Towie that I use a lot but now a lot of shops are um, including mini or midi boxes or petite boxes there's a whole host of names they're including those in their kits and I didn't have a solution for um, a box that would fit over top the the midi box or the mini box that I wanted to white out. Um, so Jess and Susie came up with these, which are an incredible, <laughs> an incredible like idea and invention to kind of fit over top a wide array of different boxes from different sticker kits. And they tested these um, on a bunch of different sticker kits and they work on so many of the most kind of popular or the, the shops that I shop from a lot, they work over top a ton of those different, um, those different kits. So I, I just filmed the Sadie stickers one and I'm going to show you, um, over top this one, um, because it's right here next to me and she has a lot of the boxes that I would like covered up and yeah so we'll, we'll take a look but let me show you the actual stickers themselves first so this is the mini box sampler they're all rectangular I don't know if you're going to be able to tell I think you can but they are varied in height so you get five of each box there's three different ones they're different heights and different lengths um, so again like I said they'll fit over quite a few they're a good option for quite a few different sticker kits and kind of gives you a lot of options there um same thing with the squares so this is the mini square sampler i don't know if these are three different sizes yeah i think you get two rows of the smallest size and then which i, I think just from looking at it like i said i haven't played with this one just yet but from looking at it i think that that'll be the most usable size. And then these two are slightly different sizes too. Again, so you can layer over top of squared boxes or squares that aren't whited out. Um, we have the mini circle sampler, which is really cute. Um, same thing, you get two of the rows of the smallest one and then three different sizes. This will be really good even for circles that are whited out, but you just want to like add some foil this is I think will be a really good kind of simple option where you'll be able to just kind of add a little bit add a little bit of foil to something that isn't already we have the ovals which just I think had kind of mentioned that like a lot of shops don't already include ovals in their kits but 
they would like them to so <laughs> I don't know how many shops already have an oval that this will fit over top in their kit but um, I think you could also just use this as a um, uh, a standalone box any of these could be used as a really simple standalone fancy box or you could always put it over top um, like a rectangular midi box or something like it doesn't you don't have to match up the kind of box you're putting it over top I think it would be really cute to have a like third box or a half box that was all one color and then have just a circle in the middle or an oval whited out with foil in the middle I think that'd be really cute too and then we also have the mini arch sampler this was a little bit difficult for them I know because um arches they're so like the ones that are in kits are it's really hard to kind of standardize how tall they are how wide they are and kind of make a perfect fit so they they had showed me a really cute example when when they were still working on these where they had kind of offset it i also tested out some of the other ones i have that are off camera um with doing it centered and even though they're the it was a little bit taller. It's, I think it still looks really cute. I'll show you. So anyways, those are the options. Um, I am most excited for sure about the, um, the mini box sampler. This is really what I've been needing, but let me, um, show you some examples of how this works with some of my, um, some of my favorite kits. Okay. So I am going to show the March 2022 kit from Sadie Stickers again, the mystery subscription. So again, this is your warning. If you don't want to see, skip over this. But um, okay, so we have these two pages, which have a lot of the boxes that I have struggled to cover um, or find appropriate, like whited out boxes um, in the past. I, I, in the past, I've tried to cut out different mini and midi boxes from different shops that I have to like find ones that fit in here. And it's never, it's been more struggle than it's worth and it hasn't been like super hasn't worked really well so um I am going I'm really excited to have these boxes to show you so a good example are these mini boxes right here they're just one wash of color they're not whited out I don't prefer to write on that and it's just not my preference so what this one is so small so much smaller than any of the other boxes i have from different shops for example here's the one from the pretty pink co you can see how much smaller this one is um, and why this one would work better on a box like this hold on i'm searching for my tweezers where'd they go okay so we have this box here and then i can just center it in the middle like that and then bam I have a mini box with a whited out center and it's now also foiled in a really simple pretty way so there's an example of the mini box in action um let's also do like the square so this orange square right here I love that it's square I love that there's a really small amount of foil here but I don't love that the center is a lighter orange instead of whited out so I'm gonna try a couple of these squares and let's see if we can find a good fit. That one's maybe a little bit bigger. I think it would work, but I feel like maybe this slightly smaller one might be better. Perfect, yeah. This is the perfect size. So this literally fits absolutely perfectly in that square and it's now whited out. Love that. Oh my gosh so good okay moving on to this sheet I have struggled with this sheet a lot too um I already did this with uh two little bees one while, while I was testing it but I'm gonna grab another one of these arches and let's see this one right here oh it's a little art no I think it'll fit perfect perfectly there we go literal perfect fit now you see just a little bit of the pink around the border and you see a little bit of the floral as if it were layered over but you have a nice whited out square that you can write in now same with these i've always struggled a lot with these um from the sadie stickers kits because they're just a little bit like i've tried to cut so many boxes and they just never end up looking good i'm actually taking like the mid-size one for this one and i'm gonna center that here so cute for the circles 
So I think there are some other kits maybe that have a better example of where a circle might help with whiting out the center. Um, this kit, it, the center already is whited out, so I don't worry too much about that. But to foil the inside of a circle by going like that, now the inside of that circle is foiled. So anyways, that's just a few examples of how you can use some of these stickers. I'm really, really excited about them. I'm gonna buy a million of them. <laughs> like I just think that they're gonna help make my spreads look so much cleaner and save me a lot of work of trying to trim things and make things fit to fit some of these stickers from this kit and other kits too. All right, I grabbed a two little bees kit. This was the one I was um, talking about that I had already tried the arch out on the, um, let's see if we can get that to focus. I'd already tried the arch out on one of the arches she had included in her kit. Again, I think it's really cute. Um, she whites out most of her stuff except for her half boxes, which I don't really use many half boxes. So I'm not going to mess too much with those, but I do think like, okay, for example, the circles that she has here, I think that could be really cute to foil out. Um, or just add a foil circular border to that fits perfectly. So I'm going to grab, I think the largest circle. Oh, let's go down a size. That's the beauty of having multiple sizes here is that you can make it fit. There we go. I laid that down on camera so it's I mean, it's pretty close to perfect, actually, but if I would have done it not on camera, it would have been even more perfect. But I don't know if you can see, there's, it fits perfectly with inside the little white dotted border. It's perfectly aligned, or it, it would fit if I was a little bit closer perfectly in that. So now, all of a sudden, you have a foiled circle. So anyways, that's pretty much the whole gist and idea of um, the the circle samplers and the box samplers that she has, the mini samplers. Um, I'm a big fan of them. I think it's a great idea and I think they executed it really, really well. So um, I think the most useful one for me is going to be the mini box sampler if you're looking for a recommendation, but definitely check them all out. I have, um, I will link paper trail plans down below. I do have a coupon code for this shop. It's Lauren15, so definitely use that to save yourself 15%. Um, and I really hope you enjoy. I hope you check them out and check out um, their new samplers. Okay, I can't remember if there was already a paper, uh, not paper trail plans, plans, pretty pink co section of this haul. I think so, because I'm recognizing this freebie. Um, but I want to start here and open this up because there's something in here, I think, that I really, um, it's a restock of something and I need it to plan <laughs> right now. So that's where, why we're starting here. I don't know that I'll have time to film the whole rest of this in one sitting, but pretty pink co up first um okay okay i was wrong what i thought was in here was not in here and looks like i'm not gonna get it for a while so i'm either gonna have to wait to upload that plane with me for like a month probably or get creative i don't know yet but let's talk about what is in this order <laughs> um this is a primarily summer order there's this really cute spring freebie there we go in I think that's her light gold foil. And then here is my freebie. Again, light gold foil. Oh, um, if I didn't mention already, I don't know, like I said, if I already had this in a previous part of the haul, but I do have a coupon code for the Pretty Pink Co. It's plain motion plan for 15% off. Um, so this was a lot of summer stuff. She had a really nice collection. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so I liked her wave dividers 2.0. Let me clear some of this out of the way. They're super like dainty and I like the wave. Um, a lot of different shops have different waves and this is a nice one, I think. So you get a lot. It's on transparent matte. Everything I ordered from her is on transparent matte. I also picked up the um, the Wave Washi 2.0, so the matching kind of washi dividers. I think that'll be really nice for summer spreads. These look like a little mini version. Okay, last year I was obsessed with the, oh, let's see if I can find some. Letters to Apollo, I think, was the first shop that came out with palm trees like this, and I 
oh yeah here they are I used a ton of them um, from her shop I love them she had them in individuals like this and also like kind of clumps where you could put them they were like the size they were all together I don't know how to say it you could put it like at the bottom of a box or something and they were like the width of a column um, anyway she was the first one who I saw do them and some shops have um, definitely taken inspiration from her and come out with some this year and I wanted to try out the other ones as well so these are the mini ones they're clearly a lot smaller which I think is nice to have both the only thing is they're so small that I'm not sure that you would recognize them as palm trees just looking at them like I can see when I look close up but in a planner spread I don't know these this size I think makes it much more obvious that they are palm trees I have to check to see if Letters to Apollo has those again for the summer. Um, okay, I got some mini sunbursts. Again, lots of shops have sunbursts, but I really like the size and the shape of them. Sunbursts are something I'm also really particular about, but I thought these ones were really nice. They are not the full width of a column. Let me get my planner so you can see. All right, there it is and compared to the width of a column. Sometimes I get so excited to film hauls I forget that <laughs> it's helpful for me to have my planner <laughs> <laughs> out right behind for you to see um, okay more wave dividers did I get two of each of these oh I must have ordered the gold and the light gold on accident so you can see the gold is right here on the left and the light gold is at the bottom on the right um, but yeah this is the wave divider so these are like oh they're mini dividers so it looks like the ones that I showed you previously, you get like a half version of those as well as a bigger wave half version too. Okay, these are the Summer Strings 3.0. I just have so much fun with her strings. These are a bit bolder, I think, than I'm used to um, or would prefer, but I still thought they were really fun. So I thought maybe for like a really fun summery spread that could be good. Oh, here we go. So we've got the palm trees deco not the mini size this is a much better size um i'd say still a little bit smaller than the letters to apollo ones but that might be a good thing but seriously way bigger than the minis so depending on what you're looking for this i think this one would be my preference instead of the minis okay here are the regular sunbursts um right here again all three foils I've been ordering her I don't know again if I mentioned this already in this video but I prefer her she's one shop that I actually really like her gold foil and I don't prefer her light gold foil so I everything you're seeing I order gold silver and rose golds um, here is a size comparison of the mini sunburst versus the regular sized one it looks like the regular sized one goes the full width of a column and the mini goes maybe like uh, two-thirds of a column across here are the wave dividers 1.0 so just an extended version of the mini one the other mini ones that we saw and then okay this is cute I actually do like this design so this is pretty much an exact duplicate copy of what um, letters to Apollo did with the palm trees last year so I talked what I was talking about um, they go at the bottom of a column or whatever you could do whatever you want with them I actually do like this size a little bit better because I feel like you'll be able to fit this into your spreads a lot easier than um, the really big ones from letters to Apollo so I am a fan of that okay and then this is the summer clusters again I tend to not I when I go for clusters I tend to go with things that are a bit more like dainty and symmetrical and um, you know like if you put an ice cream cone tilted upside down it's not gonna look right I tend to go for like flowers or things that it doesn't really matter so much they're a bit like less I don't know I don't know how to describe it but I don't tend to go over these kinds of things but I thought I'd pick it up just because they like I said same with like the hanging dangles they just seem super fun and like in a really kind of fun summery spread where 
it's very like not super feminine and dainty it's more like fun and loud I thought this could be a good addition so that is everything from the pretty pink co um, $2 Tuesdays once again I have a coupon code with this shop it is plan most plan to get 15% off and you can put my name in the notes to get my freebie all right next up is my order from balloon paper studio which I am so excited about it comes in the super cute wax paper packaging and um, this really sweet little sticker on it I'm really excited. I do PR for this shop, but I haven't placed an order in a couple months just because sh she hadn't transitioned over onto um, transparent matte sticker paper. And I'm so excited because she finally did. So all of these stickers are now on transparent matte sticker paper. And I can't wait. I missed her shop so much. Um, and she released some super cute kind of summary stuff, which I got. I also stocked up on some just of like my favorite stickers from her that I haven't really been using. Um, since I pretty much only use stickers that are in transparent matte paper now. So I'm just so excited to have her, her stuff back and I'm so excited to take a look at it on the transparent matte paper. So, um, again, I have a coupon code for this shop. It is Lauren 15 for 15% 15 off. And then you can put my name in the notes to get my freebie. Um, it comes in three different foil colors. This one is just in silver. I think it's a random pick. So let's take a look at some of the like $2 Tuesdays that I got here because I think these are going to be mostly new stuff that's kind of newer to her shop, which is exciting. Um, these are the Butterflies 2.0 and these are so beautiful. I have butterflies, foiled butterflies on transparent matte paper from a lot of different shops, but these are really detailed and they're really pretty and delicate. They look really well foiled too. Um, so those are beautiful. These are, okay. I got a couple different types of dragonflies. Oh, I like how small these are. These are really, really pretty again and dainty dragonflies 1.0 as a comparison. Let me, I've been using these. I think these are probably in this haul, uh, from a week or two ago, but I've been using these from the pretty pink co and you can see the size comparison between the Bloom Paper Studio ones and the Pretty Pink Co. ones. These are really, really tiny. And then while we're talking about it, and I have these in my hand, I also got the Dragonflies 2.0. Same thing. You can see how much smaller they are. Um, so I always get the light gold, silver, and rose gold from her shop. I think that's the classics that you can get. Um, there's like checkout options where you can get light gold, silver, and rose gold or you can get gold, silver, rose gold, or you can get all four. Um, so just take a look when you're checking out. She has whatever, whatever combo you like. Um, okay. This is exciting. I got the seashells. I have these from last year and I really am looking for more starfish like this. So shops, if anybody is going to release a sheet like that, <laughs> I'd love them, but these are the seashells. Um, and I'm just really excited to have them now on the transparent matte paper. Okay. Love this. These are kind of similar to what I just showed in the Pretty Pink Co. orders, talking about Letters to Apollo 2. They're palm tree, palm tree overlays, but they're a totally different design and a different palm tree, and I really, really like this palm tree. This is like a very realistic palm tree, but it's, again, really well foiled. That looks really good. I love that. I think I just like love the design of that, how there's like really large ones and clusters of small ones. I think that looks really nice. And then I also picked up her individual palm trees. They go in both directions, which is nice. They're a good size. Um, let's see if I can pull. Here's like a calm. Here's some from the Pretty Pink Co. that I just showed. So you can kind of see the size comparison a little bit bigger. Um, cute. Okay. Um, oh, this is fun. I really liked this. This is the Flying Seagulls. She puts these in her full box designs, or she did like in a kit or two last summer, and I really liked it. And I think these are going to be really, really pretty to use. I might have to go back and pick up more of those. I feel like for a beachy or like an ocean, like a beachy kit, that would be beautiful. Um, and here's a palm tree cluster. Again, I really like the design. 
super beautiful. I ordered a lot of palm trees for, I like to use them for summer. I also have like three Hawaiian vacation spreads I need to back plan. So kind of stocking up on that. These are her swings. I thought these would be really pretty in the sidebar. So I picked them up in all three foils. There's not really any detail to them. They're just flat foiled, like a shadow in the shape of the swing almost. Okay, and then this is all, well, almost everything here now is restocks of stuff that I've had from her shop in glossy paper and I'm now getting it on transparent matte. These are the Dainty Floral Dividers in 8.0, really well foiled. Oh, I'm so happy to have, the, oh wait, hold on. Let me actually... I do have some more summer stuff, so just to stay before we skip ahead to all the rest of it, let me grab the summer stuff here. More palm trees. So this is the palm trees in the beach. So pretty. I feel like you could use it as part of date cover deco or at the bottom of a column or in your sidebar. It's really well done. Like it's kind of crazy that she managed to like provide movement and like layers of foil so that you can see the waves breaking in the design like that's kind of crazy that she was able to do that that's like quite the talent like you can see the waves breaking from it being really lightly foiled <laughs> like the foil is almost like stippled impressive um okay these are the wave dividers 1.0 they definitely i think if you pulled them into like a beachy or summery spread they'd look like a wave um but they're also very artistic this could just be like a regular divider in any spread like it definitely doesn't scream only wave. Um, I don't know why I just have this in rose gold, but maybe I messed something up. I don't know. Who knows? But this is the wave divider 3.0. That is like a more true wave. Okay. And then this was what I was about to show you that I'm really, really happy to have back on or on transparent Mac. Cause I just had it in glossy. These are the lace borders. 2.0 and you know what these look a lot better foiled than the ones that I had on glossy paper the foiling looks really intricate and nice so that is exciting to see okay more restocks of some of my favorite stickers um oh I got a lot of these well which I'm not surprised because this really is my favorite sticker <laughs> okay so the basic dividers in 3.0 I got two of each foil um these really are some of my favorites I have these from a ton of shops um and I'm really glad that she went ahead and got transparent matte paper and then put these on like a quarter size sheet instead of the little credit card size I go through these so quickly I tend to use either you know eight per spread like one for every day plus the sidebar or 16 a lot of times I'll use two sometimes I'll even use three per spread um so that adds up really quickly <laughs> when you're using those quarter size sheets sometimes I need more than one sheet per spread for this kind of like really simple divider so I really like being able to purchase that on a larger sheet I also picked up one of the Dainty Dividers 2.0 this is another one of my favorite dividers from her shop and um, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but there is like a kind of gap in the foiling almost. It's purposeful. Like it's almost like a, like a doily or a lace edge kind of. And I really like it. I think it's unique. This divider you can kind of get from, from any shop. The one that I just showed you, the 3.0. This one is specific to her shop. I haven't seen it anywhere else. And I really, really like the design of it. So there's that. I also saw that she had date numbers. I decided to pick them up. Um, these are tiny. I didn't realize how small they were going to be. Um, probably a little bit too small for my taste, but if you have, um, a small style and that's your thing, I think these are a great option because you get so many on a sheet. I will say the foiling isn't great on this with how small the numbers are, but you know, Okay, to compare, um, this is a date dot from the Pretty Pink Co. And this is from Sadie Stickers. These are the ones that I use in pretty much every spread. And then this is the Bloom Paper Studio one. Um, so you can kind of see by the date cover area what the difference is. 
Um, so if you're looking for something really tiny, I do really like the font of these. All right, that's everything from Bloom Paper Studio. Once again, she now has stuff on transparent matte. So if you've been waiting for that like me, definitely go check her out. I'm really, really happy with everything I have here. And I'm so excited to have all of this stuff moving into my summer spreads. Um, once again, I have a coupon code for her shop. It's Lauren15 for 15% 15 off. And you can put my name in the notes to get my freebie. All right, next up is Panda Bird Design. I'm really excited about this order. It's a kit from her shop. She doesn't release kits all that often, but I love using um, her kits. So I'm really excited to have this. And then she also sent me some restocks. Oh, really sweet. Of some of my some of the things from the Gathered Layers collection. So I am super excited about that. Oh my God, this is incredible. Okay, she sent me this kit too. So thank you, Jess. I really appreciate you. Jess, once again, is, or sorry, Panda Bird Design is someone that I do have a um, shop freebie with and a coupon code for. Let me grab one for you because I'm not seeing one in here. All right, here is my freebie with Panda Bird Design. My code is Lauren15, and you can put my name in the notes to sell her to get my freebie in light gold foil. I love it. I think it's perfect. <laughs> um, okay, let's talk about the kit that she released. I love this kit. She's got such a way with kit design. She made some updates. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I'm like stunned. She made some updates to her kit format and um, I'm really excited to take a look at those. These florals, I realized I have like so many kits this summer with these flor florals, but I don't even care because I just think they're so pretty. Um, this kit is called Choose Happy. I think she was offering it in rose gold and silver, but I, she asked me if I liked light gold or what my preference would be. And I said light gold. Um, so I don't know if, if it's offered in light gold, but I think it looks so nice in the light gold foil. Um, the full boxes are gorgeous and she's just got away with like making things look so soft and pretty. Okay, so we've got a lot of boxes up here. Uh, one set of um, half boxes and then six third boxes, six quarter boxes. I don't know if you can tell. Um, her boxes are super patterned, so I tend to layer the pretty pink co boxes over top and craftsway towy boxes over top because I like a white space to write on. But the way that she does pattern... I really like how it looks on top because I don't ever feel like I'm like cutting off clip art or something. I mean, maybe right here I will, but for the most part, I really enjoy doing that with her kits. You have um, three sets of foiled pattern headers. These are really cool. I also like those ones too. And then some fancy boxes or um, mini or midi size boxes down here. These are going to be a little bit tricky for me since they are so patterned. I don't know that I'm going to have a box that's going to fit over top that, so... There's that, but um, if you don't mind the pattern, that's probably more for you. And then this page is a lot cleaner. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go through. I try. I'm gonna try and go through this quickly because I know it's kind of boring to hear someone talk about things you can see. <laughs> but I'm wondering that maybe you can't see the cut lines here. So that's a half box. These are both just like mini dividers right there. Habit tracker, that's a quarter box there. And then you've got some scallop cutouts and some flag cutouts. That kind of helps, you see. Um, and then same thing right here. This is a scallop circle, though. But all this is the same kind of cutout pattern. You've got some shapes right here, some sidebar stuff, checklists. And then you've got some white boxes. I wonder if she put those in there because of the way that I <laughs> am always layering her boxes. I mean, it would make sense because these are so patterned. If the idea and intention was to like layer over top, I bet it was. Because why else? They, they're they like white, right? Um, okay, so there's the first two pages. And then we have oh, this bottom washi is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. I love the pattern right there. And then she does a really good job of foiling those large florals which is my favorite. And then you do have two strips of like scalloped washi as well. And let's see. So this, this is cut. This is split washi, which is always my preference. Oh, I love that. So I actually really like when shops do this. Um, 
this is split washi, but it also comes with the piece in between. So no matter how you want to lay your washi down, it's pre-done for you. So if you want it to go all the way across the whole column with with a break, which is what I prefer, it's there that way for you. If you just want it, um, you know, Monday through Tuesday, it's there for you. And then there's also, um, if you want it to go the full way across with no breaks, you can also, this sticker is pre-cut out for you. So you can perfectly align it like that. I think that's the best way to do it. I really do. Um, I love the font on her date covers, such a pretty font. That's gorgeous. And then these scallops are so soft and pretty. I hope that the pattern the, I hope that the pattern is really picking up for you because it is so pretty. I love the foiling on the that like dotted line that's so soft and pretty. Um, and then this is just a like, I would call that a header for the sidebar right there. Okay. Oh, and this is really fun. There's a gathered layers collection add-on, a kit add-on. Um, Rachel of Gathered Plans and Panda Bird Design. If you watch any of my recent hauls, they have a collection together and it looks like they have some of um, the non-foiled elements from that collection as an add-on and they match this kit perfectly. So you've got the tacos and squares, rectangles, the doilies. I love that. That's super fun. What a great add-on. Okay, so the four pages that I showed you here is what the full kit looks like. If you just purchase the full kit, they're all four pages are foiled. You can also get the Choose Happy add-on. And then let's talk about the florals. So I don't actually know because I didn't go to the website. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. There's a lot. Okay. This is really cool. So you have four of just like the regular floral page. Hers are also foiled, which is cool. She's someone like I trust her to do the foil, the foiled florals. It looks really nice. In general, when I use florals, it's because I want to break up some of the foil that I have in the spread and I want to add color and like texture and pattern. Um, so I don't like when the florals are super, super foiled. It's hard to say over and over again, but I think she's done a really nice job here because it's super subtle. It just seems to be like right over the centers of the flowers and it's really light and natural looking. So I really, really like that. Um, the clusters are really nice. You get individual ones and, you know, leaves and greenery and stuff. So you can also create your own, which is really fun. And then, okay, this sheet is really cool. So these are like kind of like dangling florals almost. They're like in the, the size of a half box almost. Um, and the edges here are cut and then in like a you know, cut off like a box and the bottom here is kiss cut, which is super cool. And then these are just like standalone. There's three little florals down there. Same thing on this side. These are cut here. So they're not like extra full boxes, but if you wanted to arrange them that way, they could be. That's really interesting and unique. I haven't seen anything else like that. And then she also included a sheet of floral trims. So again, I didn't go to the website, so I don't know like if these are all separate offerings. I would assume so, but I think that's really fun, and I really, really like all of the different floral options that she has for her kit. So that's Choose Happy. I can't wait to use it. I feel like I'll probably use it in summer, um, or it's like spring or summer to me. You could totally use it either way. And then I'm really excited about this. I told her that I was... Um, low. Oh, this is really nice. Okay. I told her that I was low on, um, the, I think this is my favorite sticker from the gathered layers collection, the mini tacos, um, especially on the transparent mat. I also really like them on the, um, premium mat too. She sent those along as well. I use these in pretty much every spread. So I think these are available in her shop now. Um, you can get them permanently. They're a great sticker. I just love layering florals with them. And I think that they're so nice to add like a feminine element to a spread. And then she also sent along these guys, the layered half scallop tacos in the colorway blush. And I, sorry, the zoom focus. 
there we go focused um i assume she sent these along because the colorway matches the um choose happy spread really well like those color palettes totally go together so if you're interested in her layered half scallop tacos i don't know if these are still available but if they are they're a great match for the choose happy kit so all right, that is everything from Panda Bird Design. Thanks again, Jess, for sending this over. Um, once again, my coupon code with her shop is Lauren15, and you can put my name in the notes to get my freebie. All right, next up we have Sadie stickers. I think, again, I think I already had Sadie stickers at the beginning of this haul. I could be wrong, but um, this is a couple of orders. There's some $2 Tuesdays in here, and they are, there's some spring stuff, some summer stuff, and some like any time of the year, just basic stuff. This is my old freebie. I am so excited about my new freebie. I don't have one in person yet, but I do have a rendering of it. So let me grab that for you and show you what that looks like. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's absolutely perfect and I want it, like my freebie is in rose gold. I wish that it was um, in every color and that I could just have a million of them because I feel like it's really all that I need <laughs> um, for planning. All right, here's a photo of my freebie. It has such good basics on it and really some of my all-time favorites. Um, these two headers are my favorite, or dividers are my favorite from her shop, the scallop ones and the like line dividers with the dots. You get, oops, you get eight of each of them. So there's enough to use every day and on the sidebar. Um, we have the row of bows that I love from her shop and they are going in both directions and they're both the smallest size, which is the size that I love. And then the butterflies, obsessed. I literally used them from summer all the way through fall. I use them even in one winter spread and I'm using them again in spring. So I felt good putting them on here because I don't feel like they're too seasonal. Um, we've got her dot clusters, which I am really excited to get. And then some of my favorite branches from her shop as well. So I think it's a perfect freebie. Again, it's in rose gold. It's on transparent matte. And I cannot wait to get it in person. So you can put my name in the notes to sell her to get that. And my code is Lauren20. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, okay, so let's start with this summer $2 Tuesday. Um, I'm excited because, like I said, I have to plan some Hawaii trips and I was waiting until I got some of these stickers to get them because they're super tropical. These are the palm trees, another kind of iteration. These are really large. So to me, these are more of a sidebar sticker. Again, pulling those like pretty pink co ones as a comparison. These are huge. Yeah, absolutely massive. So that'll be more of like a statement. <laughs> and then we have palm leaves. These are really beautiful. I love how natural these look. Again, it looks like a real, like a very realistic palm leaves, like as if it were a shadow of a palm leaf. Really pretty. These are monstera leaves. So pretty. And then hibiscus flowers. I feel like I'm going to be using these in the date cover section. I can I kind of have an image of how I want to do it for um, at least one of my spreads for some of my tropical vacations. And then, okay. Hmm. So this is the Monstera cluster deco. I'm not going to lie. It's not, you can't, uh, it looks like hearts to me just because yeah, you can't really see. There's like it's almost too dainty where the the foiling, you can't see that it's a monstera leaves. It just looks like a, a heart. So still cute though. Like I still like the clusters always, but I wouldn't say that that looks like a monstera necessarily. And then um, this is the hibiscus cluster deco. Same thing. This just looks, this just looks like a flower. You can't really see any of the like hibiscus detailing. I think it's too dainty maybe. Yeah, to me that just looks like um, just a floral. And then this is the hibiscus mini deco. Uh, yeah, I guess if I look really close up, I can kind of see some of the detailing. But for the most part, this just looks like a flower to me. So, But again, it's very small and dainty and cute. and 
I think you could use it for spring or summer spreads in that case since it just, to me, that just looks like a flower. Um, all right. So that was everything from the tropical $2 Tuesday. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So there, this is, there was like a bunch of stuff in this. Um, this was like a peony and rose release. And then there was also a release that was like some new basics to her shop. So first up, let's look at the peony cluster deco. I do love peonies a lot. These are not too dainty. I feel like you can tell that this is a peony. Um, really pretty. And then same with this. This is a rose and it definitely looks like a rose. It's, it's really nice. I think this will go well if you, you know, if you have a floral kit that has roses in it or peonies in it, bringing in cluster deco like that to just kind of tie it all together. That's really nice. Um, oh, wow. These are also tiny. Okay. We're going to do this again. So these are the date clusters. Again, you get quite a few on a sheet. I'm seeing one, two, three months on one sheet. They're little date clusters, but instead of being in squares... They're like cut out in the shape of the dot clusters. I don't know if you can tell it's so small. Um, I'm going to say the same thing I said about the Bloom Paper Studio ones and that this is probably a little bit too small for my personal preference. They're, the numbers are about the same size, maybe slightly larger than the Bloom Paper Studio ones. But once again, this is like a regular um, size date number from Sadie Sticker, so you can kind of see the comparison of all those together there. Very dainty. I do think it'll be cool, like, if you are trying to do something really small and delicate, um, if that's your thing and you want something non-intrusive, you can use those, which is fun. Um, okay, and then this kind of all, some of this kind of all went together, so she released a bunch of I'm going to pull some of it out. A bunch of um, like DIY kind of garlands. So I got two, two garlands um, of like the washi variety. So this is the combo garland and it's just really simple, but it has these kind of hanging beads, which I really like. Sometimes when there's like sparkles or I don't know. I just really like the design of this. I think this is really nice. So she has those that are kind of put together for you. And then she also has this, which is a much more, it's, it's a layered droop garland for the washi, but there's nothing on it. So you can kind of add your own elements to it. If you like, I also picked up the, um, dotted mini dangles. So you totally could add these to this garland if you wanted to like in your own design or you could add it to whatever else you want obviously uh, I'll probably do a combination of both and then she also has same thing here the layered um, garland dangle half of these have the dangles already oh sorry half of these have the um, dangles already pre-layered on them half of them are not you could layer whatever you want on them or just keep them blank so those are kind of I thought that was a cool concept to have all of those um, options so I picked up the I think there was even more too this is just what I picked up and then she also released um, dots. And I think she worked with Rachel on this. And I'm super excited about this because there's so much variety. Um, and I think these are also coming to her website permanently as a permanent item, which is also really exciting. So um, let's see. Let's first go with the large dot um, accents. So these have like, I think, five plus dots in them. They're very dainty. They're clustered pretty closely together. Um really really pretty I'll use something like this all the time so that has like five plus dots and then these the next one has I think these all have four dots clustered together in different patterns and shapes which I love again super super dainty these are so small um I'll grab some of my other favorites to do a comparison I think these are the triple dot accents so these all have three dots really nice Um, and then no surprise here. There's the double accents. 
I hope this is so dainty. I hope you could see it. These are foiled perfectly, by the way. And then, of course, the single dot accents, which is nuts, but I love it. So dainty. Okay, so those are all of the dot accents. I think, like I said, she's bringing them to her shop. I suggested putting them all on one sheet just because I would rather have, like, me personally, I would rather buy, like, a couple of these sheets. Like, okay, let's say there's five of these. I'd rather buy five of each, <laughs> five sampler sheets in each foil. And then when I'm planning, just have one sheet next to me rather than having to pull out five sheets next to me, if that makes sense, because I would use them all interchangeably in one spread. But that's just me. I think she said she would do that. So um, it's good looking out there. Okay, I'm going to pull out some of the other ones that I have just so we can look at some size comparisons. Okay, I pulled out some of my other dot clusters that I have and use quite a bit. These are, the top ones are from Honey Inked. You can, I haven't really used these very much because, um, recently because they are not on um, transparent matte paper. They're on glossy, but these used to be some of my favorites, especially this sheet over here. We have, this one is the variety tiny dot gloss tiny dot clusters. These are just the tiny dot clusters and these are the tiny snow flurries which are just really really small tiny dot clusters with a lot of dots on them. So there's the sizes of those. This is the pretty pink co. I use these sometimes but these are a little bit bigger. I've been really really loving the size and shape of the Miss and Meow um, foil accent confetti dots recently and I would say that the Sadie stickers ones are a little bit daintier and um, a little bit more tightly clustered than that. So if you, if that's what you're looking for, like dainty and tightly clustered, Miss uh, Sadie stickers is a good choice for you. And just the variety, I think that's really awesome. So hopefully being able to see some of the ones that I have all kind of clustered together is helpful. Anyways, I'll stop comparing. You get it. <laughs> I just hope I'm trying to be helpful when you're watching these videos. I hope I can provide some sort of value. So there are the dot clusters. All right. That's everything from Sadie stickers. Once again, I do have a uh, coupon code and a freebie with the shop. It's Lauren 20. I put my name in the notes to get my brand new freebie on transparent matte paper. All right. Next up is two little bees. I have a, quite a selection of two little bees kits. Some of these were gifted to me from Maria, um, for transparency's sake. Um, I'm really excited about these. I feel like the majority of my spring and summer kits are going to be from two little bees and I am totally stoked about that because she just does such a good job of, I don't know, she always uses florals that I like and she just keeps her kit up, kits like updated and new and fresh and she's always pulling in new ideas and she's always like doing fresh stuff and I just love her design and I feel super good about using her kits. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think that's really... That's really kind of it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just happy. Like I'm, most of my kids are going to be from her, I think. And that's okay because they're just so fun. I just, I think she does a great job. Okay. Um, I've had this one forever and I haven't had the chance to open it because I wanted to do it on camera with you. Um, okay. So this is the bloom kit. She sent along some wildflower. I think she sent them. The wildflowers is what they're called really pretty. You can see me in a bit. She's got transparent matte floral or sorry, transparent matte paper. And these are really pretty florals. And then this is really cool. This freebie is a great idea. It's like a foiled addition to her kit. So she always, um, this is the bows that she uses in her kit. And then she always uses this doily that's probably in. Yeah. She always has a full box or almost always has a full box with it in there and she also puts them on top of like third boxes and then I thought this was a super great idea. I really like my boxes to have a um, foiled border outline and she kiss cut out a foil border for her half boxes, third boxes, well half box, third box, quarter box, and midi box or mini box or whatever you want to call it. So these are all like foil, the foil is kiss cut. So I love that. And then you've got some dividers and some of her butterflies. So, okay, let me grab two. I know I had forgotten 
I had forgotten some. Yeah, they're going to be in this one. I had forgotten some of the pieces to this kit. So, sh so I had placed another order and grab them again. Let's find them. All right, before I go into all of the freebies and add-ons, let's go through the kit first. This is so pretty. The rose gold foil with the like really springy colors. I mean, it's just, it feels so April to me. These are like original Erin Condren April colors and they stick in my head. <laughs> it's just so much. I love all the foiled accents and details. This is the same little kind of floral, Foiled florals that, um, I don't know where I just put them. Oh, here they are. From the transparent mat right here. Those are the same ones. So you could definitely incorporate, incorporate those throughout your spread and make it look really cohesive. I just, I love the foiling. It's super bold foiling and I just think it looks really nice with the design. Oh my gosh, this kit is so vibrant. Three sets of headers, all three are foiled. That, those little like daisy kind of like cluster dot foils that she's got going on. Those are really cute. I have always mention I have a soft spot for her checklists and you get some deco here too, which I think is really nice. There's that page. Okay. This is what I'm so excited about. She redid. I had talked to her about this a little bit and I was like, Maria, we need more third size boxes in this kit. And she was able to like reformat and add some stuff in that I was super, super happy to, to see her add. So these, if you know, I love these boxes. I put them on my freebie um, because I love having them. So I'm so happy to have more of them in the kit. She also put one of the like floral ones with like the added floral on it which again I think I don't know if my current freebie yeah I think she had to take it off my current freebie to make room for some of the other stuff I wanted but I do love those and would you know love using them so I'm super happy to have that you got the icons and then these boxes right here are what I'm most excited about I really like third size boxes and I really like boxes that are shorter than the width of a column and all five of these boxes are that they're whited out they're plain they're simple I can decorate them myself which is what I like to do I like to do all the fun <laughs> decorating um so I'll really be able to do that with those you have some half boxes which I tend to not use but I do like that you get very plain third and quarter boxes so that way like you can decorate them yourself wow this is so pretty that bottom washi is so foiled and then I like, sorry, it's upside down. Um, I like that she just has the like thin strip. And then she, these are the kiss cut date covers, which again, I really prefer. I like my date covers to be small and kiss cut. So that way I can do fun stuff in the date cover deco area. Um, and there's more room for that. And then you've got your extra box and some quarter boxes here. I really like these quarter boxes. Okay, so on to the add-ons. I've got a ton of add-ons here. I always get two of this page. Let's zoom out a bit. Ooh. I love this page. Um, you've got a bunch of kind of shapes up here. And then I love that she does like a mini version. I'm going to zoom you right back in. <laughs> a mini version of her deco here. I always buy two pages of this kit and without fail, I always use all of the deco from this little mini section when I don't use all of the deco from the other parts of the kit that I purchase. You get some more of these floral trims. You get eight of them or sorry, seven of them. So you can use one every day. Some layering pieces. I love the boxes. I love when she does all three whited out like this. And then this is going to update, I think, in some of the other kits that I show you. But you get four of these square boxes here. It'll update to get more third boxes, which I really like. And then some quarter box or quarter labels down there. So two of those. And then as for the deco, this is the deco sheet with the clip art. So you have a couple of the florals, but really just a lot of clip art. And then I have three of the bloom florals. I like how a lot of these have like different shapes and directions. I probably wouldn't use like this big circular one, but the rest of these I think are really nice and they're going to be perfect and really easy to use. They're very kiss cut and yeah, really realistic looking flowers, which I really like. And I just think they're so pretty. So that is everything for bloom. Once again, oh no, it's not. There's a new add-on sheet that I'm so excited about. How could I forget? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, hold please. Let's get all this out of the way. Um, this is the new add-on sheet. I think it's like, I don't know if it's a journaling sheet. No, because she has a separate journaling kit. I don't know what this is called, but I love it. I think it's super great. Um, you get a bunch of like paint swatches with florals, some new designs of some whited out fancy boxes, which I love. I will be absolutely using those in my spread. Tons more florals. And then the best part is, okay, yeah, it's Kiss Cut Washi, which is really great and really exciting. Um, I love this and I really love layering this. The only thing I'm going to say is this has a huge thick white border, which I don't love because I really like layering this with a bunch of different like branches and stuff. So that's not, that's not, I would like to see this with like a smaller, um, border around it, more kiss cut to the actual florals themselves to layer. But I'm super excited that she's now offering this sheet. It's, um, I will always be picking up this sheet because I love, I love, <laughs> love having the like washi cut florals. I tend to not use them as actual washi, but I use them in other ways and I think that they're so fun. So this is a really, really exciting sheet. Okay. So there's that. Um, so you have that add on, the deco add on, the floral add ons, the functional add ons, and then the four page kit you can purchase by itself. Three of the four pages are floral and that is what, that's what a two little bees kit looks like or could look like. So that's bloom. We've got a couple more, so I will go faster for the other ones. Okay, next up, I'm really excited about this kit. It's called Under the Tuscan Sun. I do have a freebie that matches this kit. I think probably when I upload this, you can still get this freebie. Um, you just put my name in the notes to seller and you can get one of my freebies. Um, I love my freebie. It has so many extra like boxes and icons and stuff that I always love and use, florals, etc. So there's that. Um, this kit is super special and I love it. Maria's parents went to Italy and they were in Tuscany and she was really inspired by them being there in their photos. And she said she was also inspired to make this kit by some of the pictures that I post when I go wine tasting, which I was very flattered about. Um, and yeah, I, I was just very, very flattered. And this is such a beautiful representation of why I love wine tasting so much. <laughs> um, because it really does feel like this. She captured it very well. Um, this is really beautiful. Another, another kit in rose gold. I just love this scene right here. It's so, so pretty in the hills that she foiled in the background there. These florals are super nice as well. I think I used them last year in a Crafts by Towie kit and really enjoyed them because they're so PC, um, which I really, really like. Here we go. Here's that updated sheet. So usable, so much more functional for my style of planning. So I'm really excited to see that with all of the new third boxes. Oh, wow. The bottom washi. So beautiful. She learned how to do the like traced foiled florals, I think, and she's loving it now. These are really, really pretty. I love that. Same thing over here with the date covers from the last kit. These are kiss cut, which I love. The box and then the really simple and classic quarter boxes down there that I really like. Okay, so what I just showed you, there's your four page kit that you would get if you just purchased the kit. And then these are all add-ons. Again, I get two of the um, functional add-ons. She kind of switches these up always a little bit. So like in the last one, there was uh, hearts here. These have some arches instead. Still have your um, scallops there and your trims, which are really nice. This one, one of your boxes is filled in instead of all of them being whited out. And then this part I'm really excited about because she has added in those third boxes that are, you don't go the full width of the column with the florals. I have been asking her to do this forever. And I'm so glad that, that they are in this kit again, because I love these boxes. They're absolutely my favorite. So you get those and then you can also get the ones, um, there's two more now on this page. And then if you really like them like me, I always have one on my freebie too because I'm obsessed. <laughs> so there's the functional add-on. This also, I also got that 
I don't know what this is called, what this add-on is called. But again, more of those like swatches with the florals. And oh, I like that there's three of those whited out boxes here. More of the trims. Same thing. I'm obsessed with this. I do wish it was a little bit more kiss cut and there was less of a thick white border around it. But it'll still be really fun to work with. And I definitely will still use it regardless. So there's that sheet. Then we have, ooh, these florals. So pretty. She's done some corners here and then just a bunch of different bouquets. I love all the different greens. Again, they're really PC. These are really well kiss cut. You can see there's barely any border around them. That'll be really nice to work with. And then here's the deco, which I'm obsessed with. <laughs> it's just so like... I don't know, the picnic and the wine and the shoes, like it's, it's really nice. And then you get oh, the great brines too. And then you get a couple of bouquets on there as well. So that's under the Tuscan sun. I really, really love it. I hope you do too. Once again, I think currently, if you put my name in the notes, you'll get a freebie that matches this one. So there is that. Okay. I am so excited about this next kit. I'm realizing I got all rose gold kits, although I do think I told Maria she could pick one of the kit colors and she picked rose gold, so <laughs> not entirely my <laughs> choosing, uh, but I'm happy. I love rose gold. Um, this is called the Scenic Root, and it's so beautiful. I could not resist. Um, I think it's a really pretty summer kit or just like a general travel kit. I really like the color palette with the pink and like the really kind of nude and like I don't know, a taupey kind of brown and the greens. I just think it's really nice. And this box right here just does it for me. I picked the dark skin option and I'm so happy I did. I feel like her skin tone just really complements the other colors in the kit. Um, and I love like the bow and the florals and her skin with the blue is really beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm just so, so excited for this kit. Like I said, I think it's a good summer kit. I picked it um, because... I wanted, I also think it's like a good spring travel kit because it doesn't look like super, super warm weather, just kind of beachy. Um, so I picked it for, I think I'm going to use this the week before I go to Hawaii. Well, like the week I went to Hawaii, <laughs> um, cause I went over like two weeks. So this was, I was just there for the weekend. I think I'm going to use that for this kit for that week, at least in my mind, who knows? I always have these plans and then I get to the, the week that I'm actually needing to plan and I do something totally different. So I may end up using this over the summer. I don't know. I'm trying to go quick since I know I've gone over the format a couple times. All the same here. The blue color that she pulled out is such a nice kind of periwinkle. The traced foiling is very intense on this one, but I do love those big foiled florals. Um, okay, so that was the four page kit. And then we have, ooh, ooh, exciting. Okay, we have the scenic root functional sheet. So this one did not yet have the change where we switched over to more third boxes. Um, oh, I like that there's a little extra piece of deco down there, though. That's cute. This one has no circles. It, oh, the circles, I guess, are wreaths. And then um, some arches and, of course, my favorite part, the little mini deco, of course. So there's that page. And then I think that this, she's put these florals back, I got to zoom out, on a large sheet again instead of the quarter sheets, which is great. I really love that. So I got two of them. Um, there's so many beautiful different shapes and patterns of florals, which I love. Um, but... Yeah, I, I think it's really, really nice. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. People are texting me. Let me turn my phone on silent because I keep reading them. Okay, back to the sheet. Really beautiful. Um, I really like that it's on this large sheet. And I just think these florals are so nice. And you get so many different florals from like just different sizes and shapes. And I just love it. I think these are so so perfect. So great. So I'm really excited about that. I don't think that this one had a, like the strip washi sheet yet. I don't think that was a thing. 
at the time that this kit was released. I don't know. Probably not. Um, so there's no strip washi there, but there is a deco sheet. Again, I really like this. I like that you get the girl. There's both the dark skin and light skin girl on here and um, all the different little travel things. I think that's so cute. The compass suitcases. It's adorable. Um, this also came with this freebie, which is just some white and rose gold foiled boxes and mandalas and stuff, which is fun. Very functional. I like that box. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's everything that I have from two little bees. So many fun kits. I'm so excited. I think I have more to come in. <laughs> so many of my upcoming playing with me's are going to be with kits from her shop, but I'm super excited about it because she just has so much, so much good stuff. She put so much thought and effort into the design of her kits and like making sure she's offering stuff that people are into and using right now and that everything stays current. And there's so many options and you can kind of do so many different add-ons to get exactly what it is that you want and need from a kit. And I just love that about her. So, um, really appreciate her. Definitely go check her out if you haven't already. Once again, you can put my name in the notes to get a freebie that matches a current kit. All right, I'm covering this up because I have the Sadie Stickers March Mystery Kit. I don't think that this is going to be a spoiler or surprise for anybody because I'm filming this in May, but just in case you've been warned, you can click out now if you don't want to see it. Um, but this is the March Mystery Subscription Kit, and I'm really, really excited for it. I really, really like this one. I personally got this one spoiled for me very, very early on. <laughs> So I kind of had see, seen it. I've been wanting to like open this one up and play with it myself for a while because it is so beautiful, but I wanted to um, do it with you here on the haul. So yeah, this is the kit. It's like flower market themed, I think she said. I think it's just a really pretty spring kit. It feels very spring to me. I'm actually thinking of using this kit for Mother's Day week. I think this would be a really pretty one just with like the tea and the kind of homey but calm scenes I don't know it feels like a good Mother's Day kit um very pastel colors kind of bright pastels almost here is this page these are just confetti foiling on the floral headers there and then here is this page love that um I did watch Alicia's video of this because like I said, I already had the kit spoiled for me. So I saw that she mentioned that um, the date covers were cut out in this version of the kit. They're not normally in her like regular kits, but I really like that change. I would love to see them even smaller and have the font be like a smaller and daintier font, but I am really a fan of like date covers that are kiss cut like this. So I think there's a lot more room for creativity that way. So um really excited to see that. And I just love the like bright peonies. I think that's really nice. And then the like lavender behind it. I think that's really pretty. So that's kind of the same kit format as any of her regular kits, those four foiled pages. And then you do get some slightly different sheets as a part of the mystery subscription. So this is kind of a combination of the like functional add-on and the journaling add-on, um, which I think is really nice. I think this has a lot of really good usable sh like stuff in it, especially for um, like some of the journaling stuff, but that's usable and helpful in a weekly spread, which is how I use her journaling kits. Like I like that these torn sheets of washi are kind of sized down and you have some of the like fun labels. Um, and watercolor swatches, like all that stuff. Some of the clip art deco, like that's all great, I think, um, to have as a part of your weekly spread, plus all of this like functional stuff that you would normally get on that functional sam sampler. So I think that's a really great sheet to include. And then you do get one sheet, a large full size sheet of florals in her mystery subscription kit. I think these are, um, these florals look really nice to work with. There's a bunch of different sizes, um, individual leaves and florals. So you can make your own bouquets, small florals, big florals. They go different directions. Like it's a really, really great sheet. I personally would need, or not, I don't need, but I would like to have more than one of these. And what's really great is that she has added 
this sheet, just the floral sheet, to her shop. So that way you can purchase the florals um, in her shop afterwards if you want more like I do. So I think that's really cool. These are up now um, at the time that I'm filming. So that is the Sadie Stickers um, March mystery subscription. I think that like, well, I think at the time I'm filming this, May would be the one that you would be um, if you signed up now, I think it's by the 25th of the month and then you get the next month. Um, so definitely take a look. You can save money on these by uh, signing up for multiple months instead of just one at a time. And um, I don't think my coupon code that I have for CD stickers works on this um, or my um, freebie. But I do think that if you like signed up and also purchased stickers at the same time, they would work on the other stickers, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But anyways, that's the March Mystery from Sadie Stickers. Again, check out my coupon code and freebie. That info is down below for everything else Sadie Stickers.